are the Coley Passes of Seven Vineyards. And this is the review of some of the highlights of 2023. Yay! Throughout 2023, we have continued to gather in a whole variety of ways that has enabled us to be a thriving community where everyone is welcome and we can grow and share life together. We've gathered on Sundays as community groups in people's homes, in cafes and parks, on the beach in Croyd and at youth festivals. We've gathered with the wider vineyard in Bristol. We've met in large groups and small groups and triplets. We've worshipped together. We've served our city together. We've supported each other through difficult times and celebrated life events together like births and engagements and marriages and of course birthdays. We've prayed together, explored faith together, asked tricky questions together and deepened our understanding and experience of who God is. One of my highlights of last year was the carol service going along to that beautiful building and just having a sense of family, a sense of belonging and a sense of togetherness. It really, really was beautiful. We've welcomed more new babies into the community and gathered around their families to support them with meals and baby showers. Um, we've shared the ups and downs of parenthood um, through cups of tea, chats, hugs, um, it's been fabulous to hear all the stories of how God's been healing, providing, fun adventures and keeping his promises through all of this. Vineyard Kids has been an incredible year. Uh, we've had so much fun together, learning about Jesus and how we can make a difference in this world. We've had some great events this year, like the Easter egg hunt, joint with other vineyard churches and summer picnics, which we all enjoyed, the light party and also Christmas parties. Our children growing up in this community, being known, invested in, loved, really is something very special. What an amazing year we've had. I've seen the youth grow in their faith and in their boldness and in their wisdom with God. It's been amazing. One of the highlights for me was when we were out doing the noise Bristol. We were out clearing gardens for people who were unable to. One of the absolute highlights of the year was seeing them the youth praying with a passerby. They're out with Jack, she just come and asked some questions and the youth just prayed for changing her life and for healing. They, I loved seeing them pouring out God's love and serving people in this way. We've had the privilege of leading a group at Soho Coffee House where we just invited people off the street to have free barista coffee and cake. It was wonderful to just chat with them about their story and the story of Jesus. It was so encouraging just to hear where they were at, but also it was encouraging to see how many of them were able to hear something of Jesus. They were prayed for and prophesied for, um, and they got to hear of the love and hope that Jesus has for each of them. It was incredible just to see the change in their opinion of God and their heart towards him. This year I've been doing the Vineyard Leadership College which has meant I've been uh, meeting with people around the vineyard in the UK, uh, learning together and thinking about what leadership looks like and then how we apply that to our different churches. Um, I've been involved in lots of different things in Seven this year. I've loved uh, connecting with our overseas partners, Ian and Sheila, Kingham and Ritu, uh, seeing how we can support them and pray for them in the great work uh, that they're doing. My highlight of the year was planting a new church in Tostang called Lighthouse Vineyard and commissioning Adam and Rebecca Kishtani to lead it. I love their courage and vision to serve their neighbourhood in new and creative ways with the hope of the story of Jesus. I also really loved seeing families like the Nixons uh, show their courage in moving from Seven to Lighthouse to help the Kishtanis make this happen. Emotional and spiritual health is a really big deal here and we can support your emotional health with donuts. 2023 has seen you eat over 2,500 donuts on Sundays alone. So well done you guys. And well done to you for box set binging the Bible with us and our talks and chats about what life with God is all about. We've actually served up even more podcasts than donuts this year. Can you believe it? Now, one of my highlights was making a fresh translation of John's Gospel and turning it into soundscapes you can live in for a while. It's really helped me to feel closer to Jesus 
and what he wants to do with us. And I hope it's been helpful to you too. They've been times of great discussion and vision for what worship can look like at seven. We have a great team and our leaders are so passionate about honouring God and about leading people into his presence. Since the pandemic, we have had less time, energy and money as a church, whilst the needs of the most vulnerable in our city has only increased. So instead, we have employed a fundraiser who so far has raised £85,000 to fund the food bank, the storehouse and the debt advice centre that we run in South Bristol. In addition to that, we've been able to recruit volunteers from lots of other organisations and churches in South Bristol, apart from Seven. Over the year, we've heard many heartbreaking stories from people as we shared a cup of tea and a piece of cake, listening about what brought them to the food bank. Yet in the middle of all the need and the heartbreak, the greatest story that I have to tell is a new and very real understanding that our God really is Jehovah Jireh, our God who provides. Week after week, I've looked at the need and wondered how on earth we're going to make it work. And week after week, God has provided. He's provided through the generosity of our Vineyard family, through the wonderful partnership that's developed with St Barnabas Church family, through food quite simply arriving out of the blue, volunteers appearing when we didn't have the numbers, strength to sustain us in the busiest of our weeks. It's been a wonderful year, a real answer to prayer with a volunteer deck coach called Keith who's working alongside me uh, and just freeing me up to do all those other jobs like partnering with other churches and other agencies as well and this year we have had the most amazing opportunity to relieve people of £125,000 worth of debt uh, across South Bristol. It's just been such a privilege to walk alongside people through that journey. It's been amazing with your help and support so thank you so much. In 2023, the Soup Run teams from Severn Vineyard went out 25 times to serve those in need. We provided food, hot drinks, toiletries, warm clothing and sleeping bags to over 1,100 people. As well as this, we offered friendly conversation and signposting to other services throughout the city. I have loved seeing God's goodness and grace in action through the generosity and compassion shown by our wonderful set of volunteers to those most vulnerable in our city. I've managed to see 141 families this year and been able to give free baby, children and teenage clothes, toys, equipment, which has been amazing. It's just a friendly um, space where they just can come and have a cup of tea, a chat, a place where they can just really safely just unwind and just go blah, <laughs> really, um, and just uh, if they want someone to pray with, they can have that, uh, which has been amazing. Um, and also they always leave, they can leave uh, with a bag of goodies and a hug if they want a hug, always for free. It's been another great year of partnering between Home for Good and Seven Vineyard. We've been supporting individuals and groups all around the city. We've been loving and listening. There are children who've made friends with other children who are in similar situations to them and no longer feel alone. And the adults have really pulled together and we've got a community where everyone is supporting each other and looking out for each other. We're expanding everything we're doing because there's such a great need for it. And it's really, really exciting. This year, we're really excited to have created um, a business team which supports all three vineyards within Bristol. And it provides many of the business functions that are needed to help churches to grow um, more healthily. And it also means that we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We've got me doing the same stuff at each church. So it means I get better at what I'm doing and the churches benefit from being more efficient and more effective in what they do. And additionally, we've been able to pool our resources similarly with our community services. So um, being able to share um, money and volunteers and resource across those is also really really good. Once again we have all generously given time, energy and money to Seven and honestly without all of that we wouldn't be the community that we are. So thank you for the thousands of hours and energy that we have all spent gathering together throughout each week, for the hours spent caring for the kids and young adults, for making events happen and also serving the wider community in practical ways. 
Yeah, and thank you for continuing to donate money to Seven in the year to June 2023. Together we donated £239,483 for what we call unrestricted core funding of the church. That's an incredible amount of money and it's enabled the church to continue to be healthy and sustainable. During 2023, uh, some of our donors moved on for the reasons of life, love and work. And so we adjusted the budget for this financial year uh, to a lower expected income of £182,000. Now that's a difference of £60,000 a year. And because we anticipated that, we uh, took the church uh, through a redundancy process to reduce our employment costs by the amount of £60,000. That was a difficult process but it was made much easier by the competence and the grace of our staff and trustees who were involved in the process. We're pleased that action has ensured that the finances of the church are still healthy and sustainable as we move forwards together. The building fund has continued to grow with the total balance at approximately £365,000. The trustees were delighted to agree a £30,000 donation to Lighthouse Vineyard to help them buy Totterdown Methodist Church from the 20% of the building fund set aside for the relief of poverty and the blessing of the wider church. It is such a privilege uh, to lead this church and we hope that you share in our joy and satisfaction as you reflect on the contribution that Seven Vineyard has made to all of our lives and to the lives of people who we know in this city. Thank you for being part of this.